All right, in this video, let's talk a little bit about the SQL Server BI stack and what the BI stack is. So when you, we've, you hear someone say that they're a BI developer or they are a BI architect, or maybe you see a job description that says, we want someone that is familiar or is an expert with the, the BI stack. Well, what's that mean? Well, let's talk a little bit about the SQL Server's BI stack. So the database engine is the relational engine. This is often where the source of the data is for creating our dimension tables and our dimensional modeling and our fact tables. And we'll talk a little bit more about dimensions and facts here in a second. So let's go uh, take a look at who oh, passed it. So here we see our object explorer and we have two engines, right? Well, the first engine is our, what everyone, when someone says SQL Server, well, SQL Server, everyone thinks of the relational engine. And this is where our relational databases are. This is where uh, the data is where we store uh, the source data. This is our OLTP database, right? And we want to move our OLTP database into our data warehouse. Uh, but first, we have to do a few things like we have to model and we have to create these uh, tables called dimensions and these other tables called facts. So let's go back and we don't want to get off track, do an overview. So the database engine is often the source of our data. Now, not always. I mean, the thing about, the really nice thing about um, OLAP is that you can take data from almost anywhere, from despair of databases, from text files, anywhere, and import it into your uh, dimensional modeling and and slice and dice it however you like. All right, but for the most part, and at least for uh, the SQL Server BI world, most of the time your data will come from a SQL Server database. So analysis services engine. So what is the analysis services? Well, that's where the cubes are. So when we go and create our uh, DSVs and our other things that are associated with uh, our data warehouse, this is where it gets stored. So you can see here, let's just connect him. So when we go to connect, we go to connect database engine. No, we've got a whole bunch of things we can connect to. And here we can connect to analysis services. And we say, okay, and this is where the cubes are stored. So if I had cubes here, we would create and process a cube, and you would see it here. So let's go back to our slide. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not too much stuff open. Huh? The next part is, oh, too fast. The next part is, SSIS or SQL Server um, integration services. So this is where we take our, this is where we perform our ETL, our extraction, our transformation, and our loading. We take uh, data from various sources and we load it into our new model that we're creating, this dimensional model we've created for our data warehouse. And SSIS is a uh, an incredible tool. So one of the, the the nice things about all these tools is that when we buy SQL Server, it all comes together. Uh, the when you buy SQL Server, you get the relational engine, you get SSIS, you get this tool for moving data around your organization, which is incredibly powerful. Now the the predecessor to this was something called DTS, and it worked well. But it really wasn't a enterprise level tool. However, SSIS is. Uh, Microsoft really put a lot of effort into creating a, a tool um, for the enterprise that we can move and extract and do just about anything we want with and to our data. All right, so let's move on. All right, so we've talked enough about SSIS. So data mining, when I hear the word uh, BI, I, in my mind, I just think data mining. Uh, these are the models, and I think there are nine or eleven models within uh, SQL Server Analysis Services that helped us make predictions about our data. Once we have our 
our cubes created, once we've done our dimensional modeling, we can now data mine. And data mine just means we make predictions uh, about the data we have in our data warehouse. You know, uh, how many, uh, we've got so many cars that were sold last year, how many can we project the number of cars that will be sold this year in a specific area uh, by color? Um, and it, it, it goes, I mean, there are, there's so much you can do with data mining. But data mining is uh, one of the facets of this BI stack. And then now once we have our cubes created and we can, we've got our data pulled in from all these disparate locations and we have our, our we're ready to go, we need someone to create the reports for us. Uh, or, as we'll talk about in a minute, you could have a, a part of the organization could be a self-service BI. Um, and we'll talk about that in one second. But for many organizations, they simply don't have the skill set to craft reports. So once we create our, our cubes, we, we have to craft the, the reports. So SSRS, or SQL Server Reporting Services, allows us to build reports on top of uh, the database as well. We can do it with relational databases. We can also do it with our cubes. It's a, an incredibly powerful tool, uh, even though it's quite frustrating at times. All right, so what is the self-service BI? Well, in every organization, we've got our power users, right? There are users at um, particularly uh, business uh, analysts, particularly uh, C-level positions, where they're quite familiar with Excel. So we have this notion, or we have this tool called Power Pivot, which is basically a free add-in used to process and analyze data through the Excel interface. So those that are familiar with Excel, all we have to do is hook them up to the data sources, create a data source form, and show them the functionality of this, and they can go and uh, drag and drop their uh, they can do more than drag and drop, but <laughs> most of them do drag and drop their data to get the information uh, they're looking for through this Power Pivot. And there's some other tools out there too. But Power Pivot is the, uh, because it's free and because it's so tightly integrated with Excel, it's one of the more common ones. See, and that is really it. So I think that pretty much when we take a look at, so we talked a little bit about our cubes, our uh, SQL Server. Uh, when we go to create our reports or we go to create our models, we do that through SS, uh, SQL Server, the data tools. And all of these are, uh, the, all of them are uh, as a shell, Visual Studio shell. But you can see when we go File, we've got our new project. We want to create a new project. You can see we can create our uh, dimensional models, right? Integration Services Project, SSIS, we can pull data from disparate parts of the organization. We got our reporting services once a project. This is a wizard that will help you build the report. And this is something uh, new to 2012, uh, and we won't talk about that now. But here, uh, we'll take a, let's just take a look at what the, um, inside the, so you can see here we have our cube. So when we go to build a cube, well, uh, yeah, we don't want to help make it better. All right, so, We've got a project, we've got our data sources, we have to correct, create a data source, right? We have to have our data source views, uh, which is not really like a view that in the traditional SQL Server. It's kind of like what we'll use to build our cubes, and there's lots that we can do inside here that's nice. And our dimensions, this is, dimensions are, uh, answer the by question. I want to see um, data by date, uh, by product. All right, those are dimensions. I right, understand we've got our mining structures and some uh, ways to manage this. And when we deploy this, all right, so we come up here and we're, we're done, we're happy. We right click and we uh, deploy our model, build. Actually, you got to deploy it, right? Because we build and we process. We process the cube. That's what we do inside right now. Once my, once I'm all, I go through and I create all my uh, attribute relationships and, and everything. I process the cube and then I deploy. I deploy the cube to analysis services. All right, so that was kind of a, there's nothing short about that, was there? Apologies. Uh, kind of a long winded overview of what analysis services is.
and what not analysis service, sorry, what the the BI stack is and uh, just just how involved it is. All right, and there are books and books written on uh, SSIS and books written on SAS and books written on uh, you know reporting services. So, all right. So now we have a, a basic overview of what the the BI stack is. I'll create some videos on uh, working with the BI stack. Thank you for watching.